Let us pray. O God, who have willed to provide shepherds for your people, pour out a spirit of reverence and fortitude to your church to make these your servants. Expertido, Ebedito, Gabriel, Guido, John, and Emmanuel. Who are the ministers at your altar and ardent yet gentle heralds of your people? Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading, a reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The word of the Lord came to me thus, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I dedicated you. A prophet to the nations, I appointed you. Ah, Lord, I said, I know not how to speak. I am too young. But the Lord answered me, Say not, I am too young. To whomever I send you, you shall go. Whatever I command you, you shall speak. Have no fear before them. Because I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Then the Lord extended his hand, touched my mouth, saying, See, I place my words in your mouth. The word of the Lord. Sabwipo wakuitikizana. Saburi miyamoja. Mfanyeni buwa na shangwe dunia yote. 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 Dunia yote Dunia yote Fanyia ni mwa shangwe Dunia yote Fanyia ni mwa shangwe 
Somo katika waraka wa mtume Paulo kwa Timoteo. Mtu awaye yote asiudharau ujana wako bali uwe kielelezo kwa waaminio katika usemi na mwenendo na katika upendo na imani na usafi. Hata nitakapokuja ufanye bidii katika kusoma na kuonya na kufundisha. Usiache kuitumia karama ile iliyomo ndani yako uliopewa kwa unabii na kwa kuwekewa mikono ya wazee. Uyatafakari hayo ukae katika hayo ili kuendelea kwako kuwe dhairi kwa watu wote. Jitunze nafsi yako na mafundisho yako. Dumu katika mambo hayo maana kwa kufanya hivyo utajiokoa nafsi yako na wale wa kusikiao pia. Neno la Bwana. and teach your friends see the Lord with you all to the end of the world. The Lord Here reading from the Holy according to John On the evening day, the first day of the week, the doors being shut were for fear of the Jesus came and stood among and said to them, Peace be with you. When this he took his hands out, then the disciples were glad when they saw that Jesus them again. Peace to you. Father has sent me even so you. And when he had he breathed to them and them receive the Holy Spirit. If you have the sins of any, they are forgiven. Retain the sins of any saint. The gospel of the Lord. Yeah, yeah. 
tusikilize askofu atajongea mbele walika basi uh, Simon Wabua aweze kuwaita ili makandidati wa siku ya leo Simon Wambua. Let those two deacons come. To expedito to a. Gabriel Ashindu Ay. Mother, execute this man, our brother's responsibility of that. Inquire the Christian people and the recommendation of those responsible. I tell that God, Jesus, this is our brother's for the. Brother John Finn Oko
Reverend the Holy Church, you to this month our brother responsibility of the Akon. Do you know he was the after inquiry among the Christians people and the recommendation those responsible? I say that he has found rely on the help of God God Jesus Christ. this man rather the order of Let the one to be come for Deacon so. Present. Present. Reverend Father, Holy Mother Church, ask you to ordain this man, our brother, to the responsibility of the priesthood. Do you know him to be worthy? After inquiry among the Christian people, upon the recommendations of those responsible, I testify that he has been found worthy. Relying on the help of the Lord God and our Savior Jesus Christ, we choose these our brother for the order of priesthood. We all say thanks be to God. Thanks be to God.
and in a particular way, the superior and the superiors of the orders of the orders of the Franciscan Brotherhood here, and the dean, the family members, the parents, and all of you present. Good morning. Some of these names that have been called are so difficult. <laughs> but yet, that is how God calls you. <laughs> and he puts words in your mouth so that you may pronounce well your own name. And I think as he calls you, he breathes deep into you so that as you breathe out, that breath becomes the yes, here I am. So it was until that breath had entered so deep into the my lungs and the body of Emmanuel Kato is when he said, present. <laughs> so you can imagine what a mystery that there is in being called. But when he calls you, then he tells you, go and do something. Don't stay here with me because I'm going with you to do that something. So my brothers, he been called to go and do something. And this thing that you're going to do is the work of Christ. I listened to the readings and I prepared my thoughts knowing that you have read the rubrics of the ordinations. I wanted also to shorten my uh, homily by putting them, putting it into three words. First, I want I want to wish you and to express my joy and my congratulations to you on what you represent in the church. And I want you, and as I do though, I want you to be always, always to be, to say, uh, to be there available to each other and therefore to take heart and say yes to the call of God. To be strong and generous to each other, to everybody you meet in the mission that you are being sent to, and to be generous and kind to God who has called you. To rely on one another also. Don't think you are alone hovering in the wilderness. You are with others. And I want to encourage you also to do honor to Christ, to the church, and to the congregation, and to yourself as you leave the calling that you receive today. My summary is in three words. Number one, your calling is in truth, is in truth a calling for, to work for truth. Your calling, number two, is in truth a calling to work for holiness. As you know, each one of us needs truth from God, from the lies of the evil, and once we know that truth, in baptism, we know our call, everybody of us, is holiness. And the third word is, in truth, to work for friendship, for fellowship amongst yourselves and the people you have been called to serve. Because Christ comes to build a communion of family that serves him in truth and holiness and in communion. This is not far away from what we are celebrating in these days. We are celebrating the synodality, the life 
of Christ in us, the life of Christ with us, the life of Christ with his church. So we are called to be in truth and in holiness and in friendship to walk together with one another the way Jesus Christ himself he walked among the people to think together and to do everything together. This is a reflection of being a deacon or being a priest. You are called to be set aside so as you may serve the people of God as you walk along with him, witnessing the truth of Christ, standing in for them at moments in their lives and standing in for God in their presence at the moments of your life. So faith is that number one. We need that faith that will help us to walk in truth. In the first place, I want to encourage you, my dear young people of God, whom himself has called and put his words in, his, in your mouths and given you the energy to send you forth. He has called you to a cult of truth. The Catholic Church, your faith, stands as a creed of truths that entail the identity and the nature of a human person and the work that God came to do in the human person for his salvation, for the salvation of a, man, of a human person. We have to believe in that. So, as we do so, remember again and again, as I've mentioned to you, in the second place of faith or truth, in faith, walk in holiness. As a priest, your call is to walk in holiness. As we have listened to the readings, and as we continue to listen to them, St. Paul talked to us, and he has already talked to Timothy, and he talks to us, and he will talk to us even in the days to come. As he says, we sometimes are tempted to follow sound doctrine no longer, and to wander into myths. It is true. It is true that it happens now, and sometimes it becomes an occasion even to lead into many other beliefs and a direction, direction of faiths because we are not exactly on the truth. Let us take the truth of Christ as taught within the Catholic Church itself. You are the custodian of that truth. And he continues to say, do not let yourselves be intimidated or distracted or confused by partial or erroneous teachings. Do not allow yourself to do that. Instead, more and more, learn the doctrine of the church, which is the doctrine about yourself having been called and the doctrine about the human persons. So we are glad to place you in this state of having to live and work for truth in faith and thus also in holiness. And if it is holiness, therefore I want to encourage you and to besiege you again as you seek that holiness let the austerity of life austerity of life is necessary austerity of life is necessary think of that serious control of one's tests and choices is very necessary as priests Everything that tests is not all that what is the best. Tests and tests of life, many things that you go through as young people 
as you have that chance of living in the space of faith and searching for truth, you will be tempted by many other choices and by many other tastes of life to spit out the truth and not live by it. So be strong and courageous and also have a constant commitment in prayer. Have a constant commitment in prayer. It is there that God will also enable you to understand the meaning of the word that he has put into your mouth. As deacons, you realize there is a formula that we are going to say as we give you the book, the word of God. To believe in that what you have, to live it and also to practice it. And as priests, that word has been turned into the reality of serving the people in that very truth of serving the people as the work of God entails, of serving the people of God as God himself wants you to do and has called you to do. So, the other thing I want to encourage you there also is that attitude of obedience to your superiors and docility to the directions of the church. Obedience to your superiors and docility to the directions of the church. As I've always encouraged you and I'll continue encouraging you, this is obedience and this docility of the, the teachings of the church, the church is always with you. And the church is upon you, is not watching you. It's just watching so that it may direct you to do what is supposed to be done in the church. So, so the church is watching with you and supporting you to do that. So obey your superiors, obey and be docile to the teachings of the church in matters moral and the doctrinal aspects. That is where the truth of the church lies. And that is what sustains the church up to now. Our humanity is in that. St. Paul says something about it again. And he says, hold good also for us today. What he says holds good also for us today. And he says, do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewal, renewal of your mind. It was in the second reading, as also he shared it with St. Timothy. Don't be transformed by the conformities of this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, the renewal of your heart, and the renewal of your spirit in you. The world, for that reason, today needs examples it needs ratifications. It needs concrete, visible summons that will enable it to understand the reality, the truth that God himself is with us in the challenges that we go through, in the doubts that come our ways, and in all other things that will affect the livelihood of us in company with God himself. Number four, or number three, I want to finalize, is be friends, be friends. I mentioned that as the third precept, and I want just to conclude with that one by saying to be friends is to have concern, to have concern, and have that concern for others, for yourselves. You must have that concern that springs from your heart propels your service. The concern for friendship because Christ himself finally says, you are my friends. Because after revealing this, what I've told you, you are my friends and you are no longer servants. And this freedom enables you to reach out even as missionaries to those, those, those ones that you have never met and those as you, you, will, you will never have met if at all, you had not been ordained into priesthood, into the Akonet, and to go out there as a mission. Be a friend to those ones whom you serve. Be a friend and share the communion. The church encourages us even to emphasize that sense of friendship now in revisiting our way of life 
in the matters of synodality matter of synodality so for that reason my dear brothers my dear brothers being ordained in the priesthood my dear brother expedito the other name is not easy <laughs> My dear brother Gabriel and my dear brother again another one Guido the other one I live with you <laughs> and my dear brother John uh, John Stephen Opio eh? and then also my dear brother Deacon Emmanuel I want to tell you love one another with the brotherly love so says St Paul and if you love one another with the brotherly love this love will be seen and will be imitated and will be believed in the me the people you are in, wherever you are it starts in the congregation and it starts with that fact that you live a community life you live a communal life love one another with affection of your heart how to do like st paul says one another in showing honor one another in showing honor not in showing superiority not in showing what else not in showing what i'm sure you know what you might be you might be or might not be arguing about sometimes when you are living in a community who was who is more superior than the other one who is more what than the other one and such like this that is not necessary it's not necessary st paul says again how to do one another by showing honor how to do one another by showing honor honor one another this gives that you have the giftedness that you are is to build the greater community that you live in and bless those who persecute you bless those who persecute you not even with your left hand but with your right hand sawa sawa because your left hand is weaker your right hand is stronger men at time and it's meant to bless not to blow sini kweli the bless not to to blow the wind around another person so bless bless them with your right hand that's the gift god is giving you it's god is giving you bless it bless others a wonderful gift indeed a wonderful gift indeed and bless them without cursing them bless them without cursing them don't curse your brother don't curse your brother because he has uh, uh, he has this gift and you don't have it and he is well known well pronounced well uh, 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 spoken about and you are not well spoken about no honor your honor will be his honor also your honor will be his honor and then rejoice with those who rejoice rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep in your communities repay no one evil so says saint paul so says saint paul and therefore i encourage you with these words as i talk to you do that to one another and may god bless you always be be not a liability to your congregation and to your church be not a liability don't be a liability to your congregation and to your church be a blessing be a, ble- a blessing be a blessing this is what we are doing as we are here to encourage you to live that way of life to be a blessing to your church to your congregation to you are the people when we are going to serve even to your mother and your father those ones who saw the word of god come to you and god pronounced names, or your names through them naming you through them naming you and you are going to be now fathers of many fathers of many you will be naming them you will be naming them at baptism you will be naming them at baptism that is the responsibility that god gives to whom he has loved so much and he gives him that responsibility by using that very words that come from him as it was said in jeremiah putting them in the mouth 
of that one who has been given that very responsibility. What a noble responsibility. What a noble responsibility. Responsibility of service. Responsibility of what? Service. It's not any other thing to do but service. Don't look at your people. Don't look at these people we are serving as your footstools. As your what? Footstools. You know what he says in the Psalms? I will make you a footstool what? I will make what? I will make you? I will conquer you and I will make you the the, 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 the desks of my footstools. They are not. They are not. Take care of people of God and through them they will take care. And through them they will take care of you. God will bless the world by that very care that you and that you uh, give the people of God. So, now, for that reason, I want to wish you all good. All good. And the parents also, I want to say, Hasande, Sana, for sacrificing all that you could have wanted to have, but then you are giving it to God. The very way you brought it up, these young people. So, Expedito, with your parents, Thank you very much. Eh? What's your other name? Eh? Arinaitwa. 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 Congratulations. Congratulations. And second, uh, Gabriel Ashindu Ayua. Where? Where? Congratulations. Where? Congratulations. And then, uh, Gideon uh, Limo. Or Gide Gideon Limo. Hindo Limo, oh, congratulations, congratulations. John Stephen Opio, oh, this must be from Masogo. <laughs> <laughs> congratulations. I want to tell you one thing. I want to tell you one thing. Mambo Bado. <laughs> so finally, Deacon Emmanuel Kato, congratulations. Can I tell you one thing also? Can I? Yeah. Ujikase. Be strong and kare. Kare. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Wakati huu sasa hawa wateule, ambao ni wateule ushemasi, watajongea wote mbele kwa pamoja, watainuka juu na kusimama mbele ya skufu, ambaye atawaoji kwa maneno ambayo atawaoji na ayo. Karibuni wateule. <laughs> so my dear sons before you enter the order of the diaconate declare before the people your intention to undertake this do you resolve to be consecrated for the church's ministry by the laying on of my hands and the gift of the Holy Spirit I do. I do. I do. I do. Do you resolve to discharge the office of deacon with humble charity in order to assist the priestly order 
and to benefit the people. I do. I do. I do. I do. Do you resolve to hold fast the mystery of faith with a clear conscience as the apostle urges and to claim this faith in word and in deed according to the gospel and church tradition? I do. I do. I do. I do. Do you resolve to keep forever this commitment as a sign of your dedication to Christ the Lord for the sake of the kingdom of heaven in the service of God and man? I do. I do. I do. I do. Do you, all of you, Resolve to maintain and deepen the spirit of prayer that is proper to your way of life and in, a, in keeping with this spirit and what is required of you to celebrate faithfully the liturgy of the hours with, with and for the people of God and indeed for the whole world. I do. I do. I do. And do you resolve to conform your way of life always to the example of Christ, of whose body and blood you are ministers at the altar? I do with the help of God. 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 Sasa wateule hawa, wataenda mmoja mmoja huku wamepika magoti ili kuweka utini. Do you promise respect and obedience to the diocesan bishop and to your legitimate superior? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, to fulfillment. Do you promise respect to the decision to the decision and your legitimate superior? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to bishop and to your legitimate superior? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, Bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to the decision bishop and to your legitimate superior? I May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Dear son, before you enter the order of priesthood, you must declare before the people your intention to undertake this office. Do you resolve with the help of the Holy Spirit to discharge without fail the office of priest in the presbyteral rank as a worthy fellow worker with the order of in caring for the Lord's flock? I do. And do you 
exercise the ministry of the word worthily and wisely, preaching the gospel and teaching the Catholic faith? I do. Do you resolve to celebrate faithfully and reverently the, in accord with the church's tradition, the mysteries of Christ, especially the sacrifice of the Eucharist, the sacrament of reconciliation for the glory of God and for the sanctification of the Christian people? I do. Do you resolve to implore with us God's mercy upon the people entrusted to you to your care by obeying the command to pray without ceasing. I do. And do you resolve to be united more closely with every day to Christ the high priest who who offered himself for us to the Father as a pure sacrifice and with him consecrate yourself to God for the salvation of all. I do with the help of God. And do you promise respect and obedience to the bishop and to your legitimate superior? I do. And may God who has begun the good work in you Bring it to fulfillment. Baada ya kuweka basi uti, sasa wote tutasimama, alafu wote wate ule watakuja mbele, ili tuweze kujanda kwa litania, wana mbao na utangisha, mkeka, wote tutasimama, wakua ya tatuoloza katika litania, So my dear people of God, let us pray that God the all-powerful Father will mercifully pour out the grace of his blessing on these his servants, whom, he, whom in his kindness he raises the, to the sacred orders of the diaconate and priesthood. Let us kneel. Oh. 
Na wate ule hawa upende kuwa bariki Kwa uoma utusikie Na wate ule hawa 
Ubede kwa bariki na kwa watakasa. Na wate ule hawa, upende kwa bariki, kwa takaza, na kwa weka wakfu. God mercifully hear our prayers and graciously accompany with your help what we undertake by virtue of your, our office. Sanctify by your blessing these men we present for in our judgment we believe them worthy to exercise sacred mysteries through Christ our Lord. Draw near, we pray, Almighty God, giver of every grace, who apportion every order and assign every office, who remain unchanged, but make all things new. In your eternal providence, you make provision for every age, as you order all creation through him, who is your word, your power, and your wisdom. Jesus Christ, your Son and Lord. You grant that the, the church, his body, adorned with manifold heavenly graces, drawn, from, f drawn together in the diversity of its members, and united by a wondrous bond through the Holy Spirit, should grow and spread forth to build up a new temple. And as once you chose the sons of Levi to minister in the former tabernacle, so now you establish three ranks of ministers in their sacred places to serve in And so in the first days of your church, through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, your sons apostles appointed seven men of good repute, to assist them in the daily ministry, that they might devote themselves more fully to prayer and preaching of the word. By prayer and the laying, of, on, laying on of hands, they entrusted to the 
to these chosen men the ministry of serving at table. We beseech you, Lord, look with favor on these servants of yours who will minister at your holy altar and whom we choose humbly dedicate we now humbly dedicate to the office of deacon. Send forth, your, send forth upon them, Lord, we pray, the Holy Spirit, that they may be strengthened by the gift of your sevenfold grace for the faithful carrying out of the work of the ministry. May there, uh, may there abound in them every gospel virtue and find love concerned for the sick and poor, an assumed authority, the purity of innocence, and the observance of spiritual discipline. May your commands shine, af shine forth in their conduct, so that by the example of their way of life, they may inspire the initiation of your holy people. In Offering the witness of a clear conscience, may they remain strong and steadfast in Christ so that by imitating on earth your, your Son, who came not to be served but to serve, they may be found worthy to reign in heaven with him who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Sasa tuko na mashemasi wanne katika kanisa katoliki ga kweli
receive the gospel of Christ what you have become believe what you read teach what you believe practice what you teach receive the gospel of Christ whose herald you have become believe what you read teach what you believe and practice what you teach receive the gospel of Christ whose herald you have become Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. baada ya mshemasi hao sasa itakuwa ni zamu ataweza kubao warudi mahali pao sasa itakuwa ni zamu ya mteule ambaye anapandishwa naomba wote tusimame kwa sala hiyo kama kwa baba askofu And my dear people let us pray that God the all powerful father will pour out abundantly the gifts of heaven on this his servant whom he has chosen for the office of priest
Draw near, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, author of human dignity. It is you who apportion all graces. Through you, everything progresses. Through you, all things are made to stand firm. To form a priestly people, you appoint ministers of Christ, your Son, by the power of the Holy Spirit, arranging them in different orders. Already in the early covenant, office arose, established through mystical rites. And when you set Moses and Aaron over your people to govern and sanctify them, you chose men next in rank and dignity to accompany them and assist them in their task. In the desert, you implanted the spirit of Moses in the hearts of 70 wise men, and with their help, he ruled your people with greater ease. So also upon the sons of Aaron, you poured an abundant share of their father's plenty, that the number of the priests prescribed by the law might be sufficient for the sacrifices of the tabernacle, which were a shadow of the good things to come. But in these last days, Holy Father, you send your Son into the world, Jesus, who, he, who is Apostle and High Priest of, the, of our Confession. Through the Holy Spirit, he offered himself to you as a spotless victim, and he made his Apostles consecrated in the truth, sharers in his mission. You provided them also with companions to proclaim and carry out the work of salvation throughout the whole world. And now we beseech you, Lord, in our weakness to grant us this helper that we need to exercise the priesthood that comes from the apostles. Grant, we pray, Almighty Father, to this, your servant, the dignity of the priesthood. Renew deep within him the spirit of holiness. May he henceforth possess his office, which comes from you, O God, and is next in rank to the office of the bishop. And by the example of his manner of life, may he instill right conduct. May he be a worthy co-worker with the order, with our order, so that by his preaching and through the grace of the Spirit, the words of the gospel may bear fruit in human hearts and reach even to the ends of the world. Together with us, may he be a faithful steward of your mysteries so that your people may be renewed in the waters of Baribath and nourished by the, by your, from your altar, so that sinners may be reconciled and the sick may raise, may, may raise up. May he be joined with us, O Lord, in imploring your mercy for the people entrusted to his care and for all the world. And so may the full number of the nations gathered together in Christ be transformed into your one people and made perfect in your kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Kono na sala hii ya kutio wakfu Tunae Padri Manyanga Father Kato tupige makofi <laughs> Na wale ambao Walikuwa ametewiliwa Kumbalisha na yaki rasmi Ambayo ni Stola na Kasula Aweze kujongia mbele
na kwaya unaweza tunaweza keti kwaya unaweza tupa wimbo tukiendelea kwa shughuli hiyo The Lord Jesus Christ, whom the Father anointed with the Holy Spirit and power, guard and preserve you, that you may sanctify the Christian people and offer sacrifice to God. receive the oblation of the holy people to be offered to God. Understand what you do, imitate what you celebrate, and conform your life to the mystery of the Lord's cross. No. 
Let us pray, my sisters, that my sacrifice and you be acceptable, the Lord God Almighty Father. Holy Son chose to wash the disciples' feet and set as an example. Accept, we pray, the blessings of your service, our service and grant that offering ourselves as a spiritual sacrifice, we may be filled with spirit of humility and zeal. Christ our Lord, Amen. I will be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal. For by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you made your only begotten high priest of the new and eternal covenant, and by your wondrous design, we are pleased to decree many ministers be exercised in the church. For Christ not only adorns with a royal priesthood the people he has made his own, but with a brother's kindness he also chooses men to become sharers in his sacred ministry. To lead your holy people in charity, to nourish them with the word and strengthen them with the sacraments. As they give up their lives for you and for the salvation of their brothers and sisters, to be formed to the image of Christ himself and offer you a constant witness of faith and love. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord. You have created rightly gifts you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to things and you make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. For 
O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously give this gift brought to you for consecration. It may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For the Lord betrayed himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and broke the bread and gave it to you, saying, Take this you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. The chalice of my blood. The new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of God. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memory of the saving passion of your Son, his resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer in thanksgiving this holy sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognize the victim by whose death you will be and the blood of your Son, and filled with this Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with you, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saints Clea and Francis, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. This sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your dream church with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Philip Agnolo, our Bishop, with the order of bishops. These your servants, Deacon Expedito, and Deacon Gabriel Ashido, Iowa, Deacon Guido Limo, Batalone, Deacon John Stephen Opio, Oko, and Father Emmanuel, Oko, who have been ordained as deacons and priests for the church and clergy, and the entire people your son has gained for. Listen graciously the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope for, to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow the world, all that is good.
Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Lord, in heaven, heaven your kingdom come, your will be done on other cities in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive us our trespasses against us. And we are not in temptation. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy you may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await in the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. As Christ who said to you apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in according to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. the Lamb of God, and behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, and not the Lord, but the Lord. And may the body of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
wote tusimame katikatifu na kurudishwa kwenye takana
Tutoe sala baada ya komunio. Tashukuru uh, waliopewa sakramendi. Uh, Shemasi na padri. Tashukuru wote mlio kuja. Na wikili hata novices umefurai. Kwa zawa wezu kulinganisha danzi yao na yao. <laughs> uh, wako top. Wako fast. Grant, O Lord, to your servants, whom you have replenished with heavenly food and drink, that for the sake of your glory and the salvation of believers, they may be found faithful as ministers of the gospel and of the sacraments and of charity. Through Christ our Lord. Kipindi hiki ni mkaribisha Padri Manyanga Father Emmanuel ili aweze kutupa baraka kutaratibu kwa kwanza kabisa na mwashamu baba mkuu Philip Anyolo atapata baraka wa kwanza na wapili ambao atapata baraka wa shirika la Franciscan Missionaries of Hope na council member wako hapa pia ndio watakuwa wa pili na watatu ambao watakapoa baraka ni wazazi wa Father Kato na kisha baadaye atatupea baraka wote tukiwa mapadri mashahidi wa Kristu sisi wote kwa pamoja huo ndio taratibu na sana na karibu God our Father, we want to thank you for the gift of your shepherd, Archbishop Daniel. We thank you for his life and his presence in this archdiocese. We ask you to make bless, keep him always, that he may always guide us closer to you. The blessing of the Almighty Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, come down upon you and remain with you now and forever. Wapili kama tulivyosema ni 
mkuu wa shirika brother Nicholas na council member na pia mkuu wa Kapuchini pia naye jiunga brother Arnold Shirima God our Father, I want to thank you for the gift of the leadership of the Franciscan Missionaries of Hope and Capuchina Friar Minor Brothers. I ask you, Lord, you may endow these leaders the grace of leadership that they may lead the communities that are put under their care to the greater height and with the blessing of the Almighty Father. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you now and forever. Amen. Tupigia, tuwapigia mbibu kwa sala nguri kabisa wa tapariki mbibuzi. Na kwa tasasa ni wazazi. Wazazi, the parents of father, all the parents. Oh, yeah, the parents then can come. God, our Father, I want to thank you for the gift of our parents. We ask you, Lord, that you may keep them, give them life, keep them always with you, that they may always see the fruits of their children. And with the blessing of the Almighty Father, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, come down upon you and remain with you now and forever. Amen. Thank <laughs> God Almighty Father, I want to thank you for the gift of the Christians who have come to celebrate with you. Keep them always, give them that zeal always to love their shepherds. Those who are put into their care, the priests, the religious men, lead them always well. Give them that knowledge to lead the entire Christian life, community, to that greater glory. And with the blessing of the Almighty Father, the Father. The Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain now and forever. Amen. Amen. Most Reverend Arnold Nyolo, the Metropolitan Archbishop of Nairobi. Nashkuru wa Padri Wote. Nashkuru wa Padri Parish Priest, Mahali Mandugu Zetu, Wote wa Metoka. Nashkuru men, religious and women, ambao wa Mekuja. Nashkuru wa Mbao wa Metuongoza, wa Nimbo Nzuri. Nashkuru wale wote, wa classmates. Atakaye kuwa wa kwanza or the first one to give a speech is that is Opio Joseph. Opio Joseph.
wakuu wa kanisa wakiwa wa bishop fathers wana waumini wote wa katoliki bwana yesu asifiwe asifiwe tena amen langu tu ni shukurani shukrani za kwa Mwenyezi Mungu ambaye amewezesha hii kufanyika vile imefanyika la pili ushukuru shirika letu ambalo limekuza vijana wetu kufikia kiwango kingine ambacho watakuwa wahudumu wetu katika kuelekeza ile njia kwenda kwa baba la tatu ushukuru wazazi wazazi ambao wamezaa vijana na kuwatoa ili kiwezekana waweze kuhudumia na kushukuru Mungu kazi ya Mwenyezi Mungu la mwisho na ushukuru wale wote ambao wamesaidia kuwaelekeza kwa maombi na kwa kile kuhakikisha wamefanikiwa katika safari yao asante kwa maongezi hayo wa pili ambaye atatuongelea si mwingine bali ni fadha mmoja wa fadha Kato Emmanuel ambaye atatuongelea fadha Emmanuel Kato The Lord is good and the time It's good and all the time God that's his nature Yes Archbishop Philip Kwanyolo the Archbishop of the Archdiocese of Nairobi Dear Reverend Father Nicholas Owino the Superior General of the Franciscan Missionaries of Hope Reverend Father Arnold, the spirit of the Capuchin Minor Priests, my dear brother priests present. <laughs> Deacons present, <laughs> religious men, to see Pierce Christo. We are very grateful for coming today to witness our ordination in the Franciscan family. My task is only to give the vote of thanks, first of all, to God, who has enabled this day to be. May his name be glorified. Great thanks to the Archbishop who has spared this day to come. Far ordination to me as a priest and to my brothers as deacons. Your grace, thank you very much. The spirit of Franciscan missionaries of hope and Captain Minor Friars, thank you for recommending me for this noble job. To our formators, thanks for the work done in us. You have made us spiritual giants and convict of knowledge to serve. Our parents who are here and those who have not made it to come, may God bless you with long life. Choir members, you are really angels. You have sung nicely and may you continue with that same spirit. To those who have helped in coordination with this occasion, thank you for bringing this beauty out. Little sisters of St. Francis, may God bless you. Great thanks goes to every priest here who has come to be with us on this great celebration. Indeed, your grace, Archbishop Philip Cagnol, my brothers, you have ordained as deacons. When I talked to them, they told me to confirm to you this. They will believe what they read. They will teach what they believe and practice what they will teach. <laughs> and it's me, as a priest, you have ordained today. I will avail myself for the service of the work of God. So help us, God. Thank you very much, and may God bless you.
Asanteni sana. Na kuna wale ambao pia wametoka masoko Archdiocese sisi ya Kisumu. Na pia pia makofi. Na wote ambao wote sisi tumetoka sehemu tofauti tofauti tujipigie makofi. Na kwa kipindi hiki sasa ningependa kumwalika Superior General of the Franciscan Missionaries of Hope. Nicholas Wino Nyach. Karibusana Padre. Your Grace, Archbishop Philip Agnolo, the Archbishop and Archdiocese Nairobi, Shrima, the Spirit of the Capuchin Friars Minor, our Dean here of Western the Sivino, of our congregations, Father Charles and Father John Vianney, members of our General Council mm -hmm. present here, Father Frederick Amande and Father Octavius brother priests, religious men and women, my fellow Christians, and all the time. Before I say more, I would like to in a special way our Archbishop. He is the first sitting Archbishop to come to the like community pound. Let's give him a call. And so because we are still a public as of Christ faithful under the Archdiocese of Nairobi, we want to welcome him and affirm his leadership and being a father to the Franciscan Missionaries of Hope by a symbol of giving him our medal of hope, the medal of honor, him as our father from now henceforth. So I'd like to Octavius to pin the medal of hope to the Archdiocese. All the members of the family professed they carry that medal and is the one helping us to be missionaries. Now, today we were with the Archbishop. He said that he is Archbishop that has gone to many dioceses in Kenya. So, missionary indeed. He was the Bishop of Kericho, then he went to Homa Bay, and to Archdiocese of Kisumu, then now he's here, Archdiocese of Nairobi. He is a missionary indeed. Thank you, thank you so much. So allow me to recognize a few people. Uh, this uh, many thanks have been given by our MC, but particularly I was so touched by the Franciscan family yesterday. The OFM friends were here putting up the tents, the little sisters, the Franciscan sisters of hope, 
many many others the brothers here present many who helped us organize and you know since here yeah, the cooking is going on that side and them you choir you make us proud from kia our our partner we are so good and we love you so much be recognized <laughs> brother priest uh, you really heart. you come in large from all over the place you spared your time to come here to be with us in this compound little community so we are so grateful again to you thank you very much Again, our dear sisters, all from all our congregations, and all our parents. We have friends of those ordained, and we have the spirituals. As you realize, most of our brothers here are from outside Kenya. Here, they are adopted by our parents. So if you are spiritual parents out there, St. John the Priest, and also just wave, stand and wave. Where are our parents? Just turn off. I can see you. I can see Mama see you. I can say great so much. Our spiritual parents who have worked with us in since the beginning. I recognize the representatives or the friends of the life community here in Africa, and they are Mr. Peter Kamau and Mr. Patrick Macharia. And wave. Thank you so much for your love of community. I want to recognize the presence of our, those representatives, our friends of the light community in the U.S., and that is Deacon Scott and wife Joanne. Please stand and wave. I want to recognize our priest all the way from Canada who has come to represent our presence there and uh, working there, Father Charles Chege. Thank you. So uh, I want to recognize the leaders of our institutions around. There are those of us who go to Catholic University, who go to Tangaza College and Quest. And we have here amidst us one of the leaders of our institutions of Sapia, uh, Father Cosmas. Please stand and wave. I want to recognize us from our parishes where we work. Uh, we are, I saw the parishioners of Awasi in the Act of Kisumu. Are you here? <laughs> nice. Uh, how about uh, from Meru in Kondi where we work? Uh -huh. there, 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 down there. Thank you so much. How about uh, Kingero Catholic Church where we work? Anybody from Kingero? Ah, you know what? Okay, so much. How about? in Naivasha. This is where we work. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. How about Odua? Where we work? <laughs> <laughs> so um, grateful for all those who have come from, of course, recognized from Masaka, Moshi, Marara, and Kisumu. Now, my job is very simple is to, after ordination, we have to give them a place where they are going to work. I'm <laughs> uh, <okay>. taking already. <laughs> Deacon... Uh, 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 Expedito Arinaitwe. He has been sent to the Fraternity of St. John the Apostle Awasi Parish in the Archdiocese of Kisumu. <laughs> uh, since the bishop is actually the recognized period of our community, ask them to hand over these things. And those community from Awasi come and your brother. Thank you. 
Uh, next one, Deacon Guido Limo Bartolome, you have been assigned to the front and France of Assisi Parish in Dodoma, Archdiocese of Dodoma, Tanzania. I ask the Paris priest, the new Paris priest in France, is come check your Ndugu with you. A deacon, uh, you have been assigned to the of St. Mark's Parish, Lokitang, Lord Wa Diocese. <laughs> Come take your two books. <laughs> But not least, uh, Reverend Father Emmanuel Cato, who has been assigned to the fraternity of St. Stephen's Parish, Naivasha. Please, first, Naivasha. Again, I'm grateful for you all for supporting us, uh, make this function very fruitful. And now I've finished my part. I will ask the superior of the Capuchin Friars also to assign his, his program. <laughs> also to assign. <laughs> and uh, just as he's coming, uh, our Father Commande is celebrating his 20th anniversary and it on the, on the 20th uh, month for the commander, just stand and wave. He's celebrating 20th, so he's welcoming you. On my behalf and the behalf of the community, I welcome you. Let us come and celebrate with him. Father Shri. Thank you, uh, Father. Your grace and all of us gathered here. The Lord is good. And all the time. Allow me to say a word of thank you to our Archbishop, Philip uh, Agnolo. Thank you very much for conferring the sacrament of ordination to our brothers. And uh, may God bless you, Baba Skofu. Thank you. Allow me also to say a word of congratulations newly ordained uh, priests and our deacons. We congratulate you and we pray that the uh, of the mission, Christ our Lord, we help you as you in the vineyard. Courage with God all shall be well. We also to say thank you to our parents for giving the gift of this uh, young friars, young brothers to the church, and may God bless all of you. Also, allow me to say thank you to the formators and the teachers, the lecturers who worked with our young brothers in different stages of education. We are very grateful. Thank you, and may God bless all of you. Allow me also to say a word of uh, thank you to the brothers of this community 
the congregation of uh, like. We are very grateful for us to join them and they have our brother uh, Stephen Op ordained together with their brothers Asante Nisana. Allow me also to say thank you to Capuchin TV. We have been lucky in this mass. They do a lot of work to the church and on behalf of the church of evangelization, we are very, very grateful for that good work. And we continue for the people of goodwill. The TV is still going. We need your support. We need to buy more we need to have more, and we need to reach every corner of this country. May you support us through your donations, contributions via the M bill number and in any way that you'll be able to support this TV so that the church may grow, and the people in our country and beyond our country may hear the good and they may also uh, get the things that we get as we worship as a family. Thank you, Capuchin TV. Lastly, our brother Stephen Opio has been working for some months in Malindi Diocese in our parish at St. Mary at a place called Ha. So we request him to continue with that pilot <laughs> in the same place. And may God bless you, Asantene. Thank you, and may God bless all of you, Asantene Sana. Uh, we don't want to forget uh, our MC and our liturgist who have done the job, Father and uh, Father Patrick. Uh, we call him Sister Patrick because he is a chaplain in the uh, of the Little Sisters of St. Francis. So whenever I come here, we call him uh, Sister Patrick. So, and all, all our those who have served us here during Mass, we are so grateful. It is my pleasure to invite the Archbishop to the words and give us the blessings. God bless you. Asante ni sana na hongera walio pewa sakramendi hiyo ni kwa utukufu wa mungu wa la mungu na pia kwa manufaa na wajibu yesi hitu zizi binadamu Asante ni sana watu mwilio kuja na shukuru mungu ya kwamba ya shere kama hii na ya wote kukukua pamoja na kuenda kusafi wa sinodaliti nasema sande kwa hii ya eh, Karen eh, Western kwa kazi yende Father Dean asande sana <laughs> na ana kiwa hapa ni kwamba aliwakilisha pia mapadri wote wa jimbo kwa sababu nimeona wengi wametoka kwa kila pembe ya Langata, <laughs> kwa kuja kujiunga kwa sherehe hii ili ni tukio la kanisa. Kila kanisa 
ni vyema na vizuri ya kwamba wote tu tuweze kulisherehekea kama tukiwa mbali na tuletea wokovu wazazi kwa yote mamfanya kuja hapa pia kushiriki na sisi hapa nilio toka mbali kia safari njema vyema salamu wa sulemini huko mtaka kurudi ya afya nzuri sana maisha yenu ya roho zenu na pia ya yenu wajalie nguvu za lolote ambalo nilaweza kuwa nila kupotosha nila lakini pia wape nguvu za kuweza kutangaza wema wake ni wazazi Mungu wabariki sana wana kwaya wale wale na mimi pia nawashukuru you sang and for god unito asante kwa basi kwa vile mengi ya kusema tena nitakubali ya kwamba watunulie baraka za mwenyezi ikitukemaliza ibada vile padri alivyo tuhakisha ya kwamba twende tule pamoja Natunye maji pamoja. Natukisha maliza hapo ni manyumbani, si ndio? La, la mwisho ni kwamba yule ambaye alishirisho hapa ni kwamba pia amepewa idhini masharti na sheria za na hapa ya kuweza kusaidia katika sakramenti ya toba jimbo hili. and where you go always uh, tally well with the normal uh, and practices of every jurisdiction kwa hivyo basi utaweza kuunganisha kumba uh, kuunganisha watu hapa maisha ya ndoa ukipata hiyo certificate na vile vile pia utaweza pia kuwaondolea dhambi kuomba toba kwa Mungu aweze kuondolea dhambi katika hiyo kuanzia Well, you, you can do that. Za kuwabariki. Na mimi naomba basi niwabariki. Kabla ya maskofu kutubariki, kuna utaratibu kidogo kwanza kuna kupigwa picha. Ah, uh, wamepata daraja. Moja na mapadri hapa. Kisha tukimaliza na kukata keki ambaye The Lord be you. Bow down your heads and receive my blessings. God who founded the child guides her still brought constantly with his grace that they faithfully discharge your duties may he who was a deacon and priest with preaching the gospel and serving the people of make fervent witness of the gospel and ministers of charity in the world may he make you who priests and deacons shepherds to provide the bread and word of life in the faithful to the faithful that may continue to grow in the body of the body of Christ. And may the blessings of the almighty God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit come down now down on you and remain with you forever. Go forth O mercy.
Thank you. 